so hello guys and welcome if you're new to this channel and if you've been here before welcome back and today uh we're not dancing today today i want to tell you a story a story of my most embarrassing day ever since i started dancing yes so there was this time uh, about three years ago that it was announced on a certain tv station i don't want to mention the name of the tv station but it was announced that there will be uh, a dance competition that will be aired on on tv and uh, the winner will get a grand prize of one million kenyan shillings yes one million kenyan shillings who wouldn't want that so uh, i decided to to try out uh, and uh, i wasn't alone by the way i had a dance partner called uh, elvis big up where you are and uh, yeah, we were two. It was a team of two people. So on the due date, we went for the auditions. Woke up early, yeah, due to, because of many contestants. And yeah, we were we had practiced enough. We were very sure of ourselves. So we did our performance, and it was good. And uh, in fact, all the six judges, yes, there were six judges. Just imagine, all of them gave us a yes. No, not even a single one gave us a no or a negative comment. They were very impressed by our duet performance and uh, we were told to come back now uh, another day for the next stage of auditions. Yeah. So I was happy and we went and came back on the other date now. We were given tags that day and uh, we, we, there was a line you were, you were performing according to the number on your tag and uh, I remember ours was I think tag 16. Yeah, tag 16. So when our turn came, we went in again. Yes. And uh, we did well again. We had a, a hip hop performance, kind of robotics performance. Just remember we were just two. And uh, the judges were very impressed. All of them again gave us six yeses. Not, not even one of them gave us a no or a negative comment. Yeah, how happy. We were very happy. So after the judges' comments, we were told, uh, don't go home yet. Uh, there's something we have prepared for you. Yes. So we were just around uh, that compound waiting. During this break, we decided, uh, let's go to the cafeteria and pass time. And I called my friends and my parents, my sisters. I told them, hey, this one. We, this man is ours. This man is coming home. The way these judges are impressed with us. Ever since, ever since we started, we have no negative comment. We have just yeses and yeses and yeses. I think this one is ours. So we were very excited. We called many. So after uh, like a million calls, uh, we were told now all those people who have qualified. Uh, let's gather up inside a certain inside a certain hall, yeah. And then this is where the surprise came. Yeah. Now we were told that this surprise we were to be given is that we are going back to the audition room, and a random song will be chosen. Will be chosen, and each team will compete with another. A random song is good, and you will have to dance to it like a dance battle yeah and you see it's okay we can do freestyle we can do hip-hop freestyle we are masters in hip-hop yeah and okay we went in with this team called apac yes big up to you apac so we were there my dance partner and i and apac on this other side and the song that was good was afrobeat yes the song that was good was Afrobeat and that, that time I did not know how to dance any Afrobeat. In fact, let me say I was like 2%. I had 2% knowledge in Afrobeat. So it was, I was scared. I even started shivering, I, I remember very well. And the song was good. So Epoch started. They did their thing and we saw, hey, okay. And while we were, they were dancing, we were discussing with my partner, we were whispering. Let's do this. Let's do this. You, we don't have any routine. Uh, we don't have any routine or sequence 
in Afrobeat. Let's do this. Let us try to. You go first. You go first. Do any move you, you feel like, and then uh, I will. If I know the move, I will join you. So that was it. Let me tell you, we did. We were very confused. Very confused. <laughs> In fact, I was. I almost just stood and gave up. So we did our stupid thing and yeah, of course, we were eliminated. Yes. Imagine after being convinced, being very sure that you are true, you are true now, you can't go on because you didn't, don't know how to dance after all. And uh, I felt disappointed. I thought that it would be like, you know, world of dance where you you choose the song that you want to perform or you you you're given a chance to do what you're perfect in. Yeah. Not the judges choosing for you. But anyway, it happened. So we were eliminated there before the contest even started. It was so terrible. So how would I explain to everyone whom I had called that we were eliminated? Yeah, it was terrible. But that was not the part that pain the most. The part that pain the most is that oh when they when they started airing the show on TV, I thought they would at least even show our first performances where the ones that we passed. Believe me, they showed nothing of us. Like we didn't even exist. So I'm there watching TV expecting to see to, uh, expecting to show people hey, see how we did well. They didn't even show anything, so it was even more embarrassing. Anyway, here we are still trying. At least I learned a lesson and uh, I now I tried to learn Afrobeat. I tried to learn some Afrobeat. That was very embarrassing for me. That was my most embarrassing moment in dance. But I feel like, so, but I also feel like somehow these, these dance competitions are usually pre-planned. Uh, I, I actually saw the, whole, the rest of the show and from the way I looked at things, I think things were pre-planned and all that, but that's a story for another day. That was it guys, my most embarrassing moment in dance. And if you're a dancer, by the way, you can also comment below. Tell us what was your most embarrassing moment in your career. Yeah, maybe yours is worse than mine.